So you need to play with this. So this one goes here, and this thing goes here. So if you put it in, remember I said you need an adapter? This circuit already comes with an adapter. So that goes in there. <laughs> okay. Here, put that in, in the wrong angle. Take that off and hook this one up. So that's the way that is. Okay. This other one just comes like this. And what you do is you take this other one, which is separate, put it there. One, two, and three. And you do these other two. It's the same thing. Yeah. You have to play with it. You can't just watch me do it. Hook that up here, and then hook that up there with that adapter that uh, Bolt took out. Okay, so I'm just showing you because some hospitals may have this, some may have this one. Is there any difference between the blue and white, or just color? Price. Depends on what they, they work the same way, but the price is different. Obviously, because you're not going to be doing this for a while, you're going to forget the first time you actually see it, you say, we went over it in the lab, but I haven't really assembled it in like two semesters, and so can you go over it again with me? That's perfectly fine to say that instead of pretending that, you know, or trying to figure it out on your own. I always ask for help. They prefer that you ask for help. Okay, so both going to be our guinea pig here. All right. So what did we say? The RT sets the pressure, the flow, and the sensitivity. Mm -hmm. Where is the pressure dial? Where's your thing? Right here. Number three. Candice, what number is this? Right hand side. Three. Three. Number three. Okay. You set this part here, the pressure. You set the flow, which is in the front. And you set the sensitivity, which is on the left. So one on the left, one in the middle, and one on the right. Patient triggers with a seal. So this is a Three, three slides, I think, um, ahead. How do you set it? Where would you set it first? How do you start? Steve, tell you guys that? Mm -hmm. okay. So it's easiest to just do it at 15. The flow at 15. And remember this one, the hand timer rod, the red thingy? Mm -hmm. I said you can start or stop a breath. Mm -hmm. Push it in to start, pull it out to stop. Mm -hmm. If it's going like that, don't leave it running because if you have drugs in there or saline, it's just going to waste it. Mm -hmm. It's nebulizing right now. So you pull it out to stop it while you set your settings. You start at 15, 15. And what did we say about sensitivity? It's one. Now it depends on the patient. You want, wow. you want it to be sensitive to the patient's inhalation. So you want it negative one, negative two. If you look at the numbers, five to 40. You know, if the higher the number, you're going to make it really hard for the patient to suck in. So negative one to negative two, you, you know, start at around that. You don't know what if that's negative one or negative two. What are you going to look at to see if it's negative one or negative two? You're going to look at the manometer. Okay? So I set my flow, I set my pressure, and I set my sensitivity. Now, I ask Bo, to you. I'm going to use a mouthpiece with him. <laughs> evil. That like really bow. is evil. Don't you worry now. Okay, so... You should ask her if that thing is clean. What? These are all brand new. 
stand on that. All right. And so, what do you tell Bo? You want him, preferably, you want him to be breathing spontaneously, right? Mm -hmm. So he has to make a good seal. Good seal. Bo, make a good seal with your mouth. Wait, hold on. Before you do that, what do you tell the patient, by the way, when you go in to do this? Hi, Mr. Pollard. Hi. I'm, I am Austin from Respiratory. Are you a student? <laughs> <laughs> this treatment, treatment will help you take your lungs. Take a deep breath. Yeah. This machine will help you take a deep breath. Yeah, you can say a breathing treatment, but you need to be a little bit more specific. Because <laughs> acapella is a breathing treatment, it's a a breathing treatment. I'm here to give you a breathing treatment to help inflate your lungs. So you set it up and go, okay, have you ever done this before? No. <laughs> All right. What's going to happen? You go, what's going to happen is you're going to put this in your mouth. When you take a and when you take a deep breath or when you take a breath, the machine is going to push air, in. push air into your lungs. It's very important to just keep a good seal and try to relax. Don't fight it. Let the machine fill your lungs with air. Let the machine help you take a deep breath. Let the machine help Work you take a deep breath. No. Okay, so don't fight it because at, at in the initially it's like whoa <laughs> it's really scary and they take it off and you can't you can't get it because they keep taking it off their mouth okay so make a good seal with your mouth and try to relax let the machine um fill your lungs through there <laughs> but, and you'll see that you'll see their eyes bug out <laughs> well very good now when your um, patient's taking a breath, remember I said you have to look at the manometer to see what pressure you're actually getting. What pressure is he getting, Jess? Je when he takes a breath. It's like a sick. When where does it stop? Like a. I don't know, don't know where to read it. So if you see the needle go like that, tell them not to blow it hard. That's it about, don't blow a heart, relax. About 15. Oh, okay. Okay. So it stops at 15. You can stop for a moment. What's the problem if you have a patient keep doing this? There it goes into their stomach. <laughs> but not at 15. Usually not. How do you feel? Hyperinflation. Hyperinflation. Uh -huh. Lightheaded. Lightheaded and dizzy. Yeah. So hyperventilation is the main issue because you're taking deep breaths. Your minute volume is up. You're blowing off the CO2. You're having okay. So you have to look at that. First thing is you look at that to see what the pressure is. The other thing is you're going to see how the needle rises. Yeah. If the needle is rising really slow, it's like, oh, and then it goes down. That means that your flow is too low. You need to increase the flow a little bit so that it rises nice and even. How do you adjust your flow? Your flow rate thing. How do you make changes, by the way? How do you titrate it? How do you titrate it? Small increments? Or Small increments, about two. Mm -hmm. So your pressure, you if you want it higher, you get to 17, to 19, to 21. Don't go from 15 to 25. Okay, small increments. Same thing with your flow. Right here, you can go by 5 because it's in increments of 5. Mm -hmm. Don't go from 15 to 40. Mm -hmm. Okay, so small increments. Okay. The other thing is, so you're looking at the manometer to look at what pressure you're giving. You look at the manometer to see how the needle rises, if it's too slow, too fast, or just right. And you look at the manometer to see what the sensitivity is. So the sensitivity, you have to look at when he sucks in, how far back does it go? So it's right at the beginning of the breath. You see this um, kind of peach colored area? Mm -hmm. That's where you look at for your sensitivity. Because sensitivity is negative one to negative two, meaning it's um, less than ambient pressure. So when Bo sucks in, go ahead, you have to look where the needle goes to. That was what? Negative one. one. See that? Negative one? Yeah. 